I can tell you that people began arriving here at Omaha North very early this morning to get in line, hoping to get a seat and to see the Clinton speech. Reporter Lindsay Thies continues her live team coverage with what the crowd was saying as they waited. Lindsay. That's right, Craig. Well, folks lining up as early as 5 o'clock this morning to hear what Hillary Clinton would say. And as we spoke to people who were very anxious not only to hear Warren Buffett, but to hear Hillary Clinton uh, before her stop here, they were saying they hoped to hear about what she would say about racial tensions, about the economy, about teachers, as we are here at Omaha North High School. Uh, so I, I also wanted to talk to folks after the fact and see if they were pleased to hear what she touched on. I'm joined now with Marty Carrington. You're from Omaha. I am. And uh, you were out earlier helping rally traffic and everything. Traffic copping it out there, yeah. So, uh, needless to say, you're probably a very big Hillary supporter. I am, yes. Uh, what were you expecting today going into this and coming out of it? What did you think? You know, I was wondering how she would build on her message from the convention. And she did a great job of really hitting the highlights and letting us know what her plan was to help turn the economy around, to help people out, to help with health care. Um, I was really impressed by her message today. Now, I can't help notice you're wearing a shirt that says girls support girls. Right. And, you know, uh, both Buffett and Hillary really talked on not only the historical significance, but kind of hitting those female pronouns. Yes. Uh, as a female, as a woman, what does it mean to you to, to see something like this in a time in history in this election? It absolutely takes my breath away. I've got twin nine-year-old daughters, and we sat down and we watched speeches from the convention together. We watched the First Lady. We watched Hillary Clinton. And this means so much to me, and it means so much to them to know that one day they could do this very thing that she's doing right now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank Marty. You. Well, we're going to continue talking to voters and people from Omaha, people from throughout the community that have been coming in, some folks even far beyond. I talked to a woman earlier today who came all the way from La Crosse, Wisconsin. So stay tuned. We'll have much more voter feedback coming up in a little bit. For now, we're live at Omaha North. We'll send it back to you. All right, Lindsay.